Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another melting basket. I am actually filming this like first thing in the morning because I went to put in my melts this morning and I was like, oh my gosh, my basket's empty. So I need to fill this thing up because I need to get to melting today. I'm really excited. I feel as though I've been melting quadruple the amount I normally melt. So I've been going through them pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and go through my empties to start. I'm just going to grab at random. I have one of those like things in my hair. It's hard to explain. They're like you, heatless curls and I just haven't taken it out yet and it's just everywhere right now. Anyway, at first I had this loaf from L3 Waxy Wonders. This was in Pennywise. Sweet funnel cakes dusted with powdered sugar and topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. This is not a spicy funnel cake. Um, 110%. This definitely just smelled like a like light bakery strawberry to me. It was very heavy on the strawberry. Um, there was, like I said, a hint of bakery. It was very nice. It was very sweet. I liked it, but I don't know. I just love that spicy funnel cake scent so much. Um, I do prefer that, but for like a strawberry kind of blend, this was nice, and I did enjoy that. So it was nice, but I just don't know if I would repurchase that. From the pharmacist daughter, I had two different scents here. This first one is Cut Loose Foot Loose, Seagrass and Sand Dunes, Bamboo, Sugar Cane, and Citrus. This was a very light kind of, um, I wouldn't say perfumey, but very like light, fresh scent. It was very nice for our downstairs area. It didn't throw too crazy, but it was just kind of like a refreshing scent. Not something I would repurchase, but I liked it for what it was. This was really good also from the pharmacist daughter. This is beans and cream, coffee house, marshmallow, sweet and creamy, coconut shortbread cookies. I melted this almost exclusively in our entryway and it smelled so good. Every morning was just like fresh coffee. As I was coming down the stairs, I was like, oh, it smells so good down here. This is such a great melt. I love their coffee blends and that was no exception. It was very good. Another from L3 is Anticipation, Apple Butterscotch Cake, Sea Salt, Caramel, and Pretzel. This was so good. These three notes are just three of my favorite. I love Apple Butterscotch Cake. I love like salted caramel and I love pretzel. And this was just so delicious. Like, oh, like I just, oh my God, chef's kiss. It was so freaking good. I was obsessed with that. I need that in a bigger size. Oh my gosh. From Rose Girls, I had carbs. I've never melted carbs by itself before. This is cookies, bread, cookies, bread, and donuts. Don't even talk to me about carbs. Carbs is so delicious. It was, so, I just, I needed more of this. Like I would buy like five bags of this. It was just so good. I love carbs by itself. Um, my, oh, I forgot about this one. This was also the pharmacist's daughter. Ah, I might be getting this one also confused with the other. No, this was a souffle. This was Bake My Day, which was coffee house, cinnamon sugar, donut, cinnamon roll with vanilla frosting. This was also very good. Like I said, the pharmacist daughter's coffee blends are very good. And this was no exception. Again, delicious. Really liked that one. Then from Black Magic Melts, this was Edward and Kim. Fresh fruit, whipped cream, and marshmallow. This was very sweet, very nice. Um, I did quite enjoy that as well. Another bag of the pharmacist's daughter. This was Fancy Nancy, which was in a souffle as well. Zucchini bread, strawberry, white cake, strawberry jam, and birthday cake. This was very good. I love the strawberry white cake. It's such a good scent note, and I love it mixed with zucchini bread. The additional notes of the strawberry jam and the birthday cake really elevated this scent. It was very sweet, very strawberry, but then you did get that bottom note of zucchini bread. It was such a good note. Like, it was so good. I loved that. Um, and then I did have a clamshell here oh i forgot to do something off down a second anyway i have a clamshell here um from sweet clementine soaps this was gifted to me it's just in peppermint swirl it was a very nice peppermint scent and this actually came at such a good time because this basket i wasn't feeling too good for a couple of the days and this kind of helped so i did quite enjoy that and then i do have one more little bag it was my freebie and then we're on to shot cups this is from oh pause Shouldn't be so angry, he asked if I wanted coffee. Um, this was from Villainous Wax. It's called Jack-O-Lantern, Charred Pumpkin, Caramel Drizzles, and Freshly Dried Hay. This is good, but it's very just like, it gives almost like a garden dirt almost kind of smell. Like it's, it's good, but it's just not something I necessarily love, but I'm glad it was just a small little freebie size because otherwise I don't think I would have really enjoyed melting a lot of that. And then we're into the shot cups. Up first we have Yzma from Nerdy Wax Company. This is guava nectar, dragon fruit slices, and hibiscus flowers. This was wonderful, very fresh, very fruity, delish. Another Nerdy Wax, this is Buddy the Elf, lemon pound cake and sugar cookies. This was very heavy on the lemon pound cake, really sweet lemon pound cake. That was also quite nice. Another from 
Nerdy Wax, this is, I cannot pronounce this, Hayabusa the Falcon, girl, I don't know. Rainwater, Snowfall, and Sea Salt. This was fresh. This was really good. I actually melted this last night in our bedroom, and I really quite enjoyed that one. And I think that's everything from Nerdy Wax. And then last but not least, my baby fantasy wax. Up first, we have a Christmas Carol, which was eggnog. This was super good. I like eggnog by itself. It's just so like warm. I really like that one. Then we had Ariel, which was coconut water, sea lily, and lemon zest. This was another really fresh, oceany smell. Love melting those in the bedroom. This was so good, Wendy da darling. This was just plain strawberry pound cake. <sighs> I don't think I've ever melted just plain strawberry pound cake, and that was amazing. Another one from the Christmas collection years and years ago. This is Krampus, which is marshmallow peppermint. This is a favorite in our house. It is so delicious. Like you can smell the marshmallow. It smells almost like a toasted marshmallow, like a freshly toasted marshmallow. And then you get like the peppermint. It's just so good. And then last but not least for my empties, I have I Put a Spell on You, which is pumpkin cornbread. That is such a good scent. It was like so warm. Ah, I just threw all of them. So warm, so spicy. The pumpkin was so good. I'm just tossing them everywhere. I think it's time. I get a new trash can because what in the heck is happening? Okay, let's fill it up. So I have a lot, but I'm grateful because like I said, I've been melting so much. So I do have a loaf, which I'm again grateful for. This is another L3 loaf. This is cucumber, Mountain Dew, and strawberry sugar. I mean, this is good. We're going into like a warmer season. So mm, this is so good. Cucumber and Mountain Dew mixed together is so weirdly amazing. I don't think I smell the strawberry sugar, but like I'm sure it'll come out on warm. So this is my lime green loaf. Then I have another thing from L3. I have another four pack of fluted tarts. Let's do this. Does that work? Maybe. This is in blueberry muffin, buttermilk flapjacks, and glazed donuts. I am a sucker for a blueberry scent. Mm, and that is so good. Sorry, I like to have these flat, but they like to fall around, and that's okay. But that smells amazing. I have four bags of Rose Girls, which I'm really excited for because it's so easy to just pop Rose Girls in throughout the house. Up first, we have Circus Concessions, which I've never melted before, and I'm so excited because I've heard so many good things about this scent. Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. Mm, mostly just smells like... Mac apple and a little bit of um, cinnamon from the funnel cake, but I will not complain. That smells amazing. I have another Rose Girls carbs and cotton candy cookie land, cookies, donuts, bread, which is carbs, cotton candy frosting, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and confetti cake. Honestly, at this point, anything with carbs, I'm down for. Oh, that's so good. It's mostly smelling like carbs right now and maybe some of that pretzel. That's amazing. Another Rose Girls, I have pumpkin sugar donut type. This is de-stashed to me. Mm, that's really good, really sweet, very fall. I actually really love that. And the last Rose Girls I have is Cider Lane and Pretzel Day. Cider Lane is a Bath and Body Works type, and then Pretzel Day is peanut butter, pretzels, and cinnamon sugar. Mm, it smells apple-y from the Cider Lane, but everything is amazing, so. God, that basket is already like very full. Um, I have another couple of items that aren't shot cups, and then the rest are shot cups. The first is a, like, snack bar here from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is in Key Lime Zucchini. Key Lime Pie Crust Blueberry and Zucchini. That's odd. I feel like I said that in the haul, too. I do not smell any blueberry. It is mostly Key Lime, which to me smells like Skittles. It'll be good. It's a quick bar to break apart. And then I think this is actually the last thing I had de-stashed to me from Hannah. I will say, though, she did de-stash a... That smell good shop, um, oh god, what are they, scoopable? And I just can't melt it. I literally can't. I hate the texture of it. I'm, I just cannot touch it. So this is technically the last thing, and I'm very excited. And I can't believe it took me so long to go through everything from Hannah, but I'm, like, so grateful for it. So, again, this is from That Smell Good Shop. It's a customer blend. I believe this was her blend. It is salty caramel and zucchini blend. Mm, and the caramel is salty on this, which I love so that is so good the last thing i have that's not a shot cup was the freebie i pulled it's from birdies making sense it's a sample quite a large sample so i'm excited for this it is satsuma strawberry white cake and fruity pebbles probably gonna smell very citrusy yes very citrusy satsuma is really delicious and very citrusy so i do quite like that i'll leave that out because i have a bunch of shot cups so let's go through them. First, from Nerdy Wax Company, I have Captain Hook, Blue Lagoon Water, Honeydew, and Ocean Winds. I have found that I love honeydew. Mm, and that is so good. It smells very ocean-y, though, which I quite like. 
I have one of a, I, sec I think the second year of Reagan's favorite, which is so pretty. Uh, this is Cotton Candy from Fantasy Wax. Mm, so it's just like cotton candy, very sweet, I love it. Another fantasy wax we have here is a Lush type. This is Snow Fairy, Light Fruits and Florals. Mmm, that is so good. It is so bubblegummy, like I really love that. Another fantasy wax I have here is called The Burrow. It is Strawberry Bread, which I'm so excited about because I'm making a blend here soon with Strawberry Bread and I haven't made a blend with Strawberry Bread in so long. And it's just so good, I'm so excited for that one. Oh my gosh, I have like no space in here. Okay, next from Villainous Wax, I have Booberry, which is blueberry cereal and vanilla marshmallows. I love this. I think I've had like 10 of these from Villainous Wax. They're just so freaking good. I have a small shot cup here from Nerdy Wax Company. This is Kronk, Blackberry, Gooseberry, and Mango Slices. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what that smells like to me. I'm not sure if I love it, but it's fine. Another fantasy wax, this is a Christmas story, peppermint sticks, and vanilla. Always good to have a peppermint scent. Yeah, that's really pepperminty. I love that. Another fantasy wax here. We have Mallet of Death, which is Danish butter cookies. Just in time for the new Bridgerton season. Mm, that is so good. I haven't used Danish butter cookies in a long time either. And then last but not least from Nerdy Wax Company. I feel like I've melted this before, but I'm really excited. It's Foolish Mortals, Lemon Blueberry, and Freshly Baked Donuts. Mostly smells like blueberry, but I, like I said before, I am a blueberry fan, so I am not angry about that. Let's just try and, oh, I don't even know. This basket is overflowing. Look how much rose girls, but I am so excited to get to melting. Like I said, I have nothing in my warmers right now, so I'm ready to chop all this up or at least chop up a couple of things. And I think the only thing I have to chop, honestly, is this. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.